It's Nuber Thursday! Woo! And it's the end of the world as we know it. Tomorrow. Yeah, Tomorrow's if you're watching this episode, Tomorrow. apparently... Watch it now, because you might not have to watch it tomorrow. Fortunately, I feel fine. <laughs> I actually was going to go and do the entire like lyrics for that, but then I thought, no, nah, that'll get really old really quick. You can like, party out or something, yeah. something, something, something. No one knows the lyrics to the song. Yeah. Um, Man, we're what but, saying? you know. <clears throat> anyway, supposedly tomorrow, 10, 21, 12 is the final day of the universe. Well, that would be not. October. So 12, 12 21. 21, 12. Yeah, sorry. Yes. According to the Mayans, but that's all been debunked, and if you believe in that, you're an idiot, so whatever. But we thought it'd be fun to do an end of the world episode, and uh, that's what we're doing. And here we are. Um, also, in that Wouldn't theme, it be great if it was the end of the world, and Steve called you an idiot, and you're like, yeah, I told you. Yeah, but you. you know, we'll all be dead, and no one will care. Exactly. I actually I told got you there was going to be yeah. an apocalypse. No, I actually end. got into a fight with a guy on Facebook about this topic, because of how lame it was, and whatever. Um, but he was like, oh, well, I'm taking the side of like being right, because if, if it happens, and I, was, I said it happened, then I'm cool. And I'm like... Um, no, no, if it happens, dead. everyone's dead and you're, no one cares. You would be dead. <laughs> you're yeah. an idiot. Yeah, congratulations for being correct. Now you're dead. But anyway, in line with the theme of the 12-21-12 thing, we are doing an Enjoy By 12-21-12 um, beer from Stone. If you know anything about the Enjoy By series, this is their new kind of like, live for the now, drink it immediately, do not let this age. This the enjoy by is the date. If you have it on 12, 12, 22, 12, don't tweet about it because Greg will probably yell at you. <laughs> yeah, it's. I think um, it's definitely an opportunity for them to make like obviously a really hoppy, awesome IPA. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, they're trying to drive the point home that if there's an enjoy by date on a bottle, you should look for that and drink it by then. And if you drink it after that, don't go online or tell your friends or about tell it. anybody that the beer sucks because you know what. It's after the date, so yeah. now you're on your own. I had this after the date, but I'm still going to give it a crappy beer advocate review. And cheers. Yeah, you know, if you cheers, cheers. <laughs> if you drink this on twelve twenty two, you know, it's probably going to, you know, it's, it's if you do that, you're just like a day is you're just a being a rebel. And you know? by the way, you're over twenty one. There's nothing to rebel against anymore. But we're go. talking if you're going like a month <laughs> past the enjoy right. by date. That's something that is definitely, you know, you should you're, just yeah, you're, it's you're not going to be the same weird territory at that point. So depending on when the When you're doing that and you're thinking about tweeting and or writing a beer advocate, just remember one thing. Just don't, or, be, or don't rate, be a rate dick. Rate yeah, rate just don't you. be a dick. The one thing that's really cool about this series of beers is that Stone has a, well, besides that, we'll get to that. Just relax. Okay, sorry. Stone has a cool little thing on their website now. Um, I think it's at uh, stonebrewing.com slash now. There's like a game that they have set up where it's like based on regions. So if you tweet that you're drinking this and you, you use the enjoy by hashtag, um, as long as, as well as like a location hashtag, mm -hmm. like SoCal or Midwest or whatever, it goes into a pool of people that have done that. And there's like gauges to see who's winning, what region is winning as far as who's drinking it. And they're basing where they send the beers on that game. So like if your region doesn't get a lot of tweets and whatever, it may not get the next round of the enjoy buy. I'll tweet about that. <laughs> uh, okay. Live in the now, Matt. Live in the now. Yeah, I don't think the show people watch this show. Be to social see here, not out there. Yeah, exactly. It's like, but I'm being social on my phone while ignoring you guys. Um, so the the whole point of this beer, like I said, you know, drink it fresh. A lot of the beers that Stone makes are meant to be drank fresh, and a lot of beers that a lot of craft beers are meant to be drank fresh. Yeah, too. definitely. Um, and definitely a beer like I mean, this is right up there with Pliny the Elder, Drake's Apocalypse, a lot of those really amazing double IPAs. Um, and uh, what they're doing with the, with the hot varieties that they're using is phenomenal. The aroma on these things is, is amazing. freaking amazing. Yeah. Um, and then the flavor profile is just so crisp and clean and fresh. Mm. And you yeah. can tell, like, if you let this go too long, it is just not going to be good at all. You know, I think it's really cool because um, there was a period of, like, you know, a year or two where Stone, they, they didn't do a whole lot of, like, new, like, just good old-fashioned IPA or double IPA. Like, for the anniversaries, they had, like, the red IPA, right. and then they had, like, you know, the English-style thing. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, they'd been doing a lot of Belgians and stuff, obviously, with the uh, Vertical Epic series, but it's, like, now... Just recently, I think especially with the uh, the anniversary ruination, it's like, hey, wow. we do hops. Yeah, tenth you know? anniversary ruination was insane. Blew my mind. It was yeah. insane. I was like, wow, you that's know? incredible. And I, I don't know. I think it's you know, it, it almost kind of ruined ruination for me. 
I don't know. I mean, I drink it. I still enjoy Ruination, but it's like I, every time I open one, I'm like, oh, I want that tenth anniversary. Yeah, one. yeah. It's like, oh, yeah, it was well, like Ruination squared. Right. Yeah. yeah right. Really well, was. yeah. As, I think it never really went away, but it, it's almost like a kind of return to form where you know Stone does you know hops. That's one of the best things they do. I mean, hell, Mitch Steele literally wrote the book on IPA. The other thing about this beer too is it's limited. They don't uh, distribute to all their markets. Mm -hmm. um, like Steve said, there's a contest basically to see who gets it, and I don't know how much of that plays into their, you know, deciding where it goes. Mm -hmm. Well, I think a lot this of it is initially, California's yeah. second time getting it. Mm -hmm. So the, I think the a lot of it depends on yet. initially depended on like where their their most of their sales were going, yeah, and yeah, so yeah. they were throwing it there. Where but, the demand was the highest. Right. It's cool, like Which they're makes sense. you know. They're making it an exclusive thing, and you know it's because it's a delicious beer. We should probably talk about the beer. Yes, we should. Um, hops. This beer has got some hops in it. Mm -hmm. That's I've I've heard that. Yeah, it's I've it's, smelt it as well. It's it does. It's almost like you open this up, and it's almost like a room freshener. Yeah, yeah. No. yeah. I was gonna say that actually when we did when Matt uh, popped that cap and poured his glasses, like oh, I can smell it from here already. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's that that's one thing about really great IPAs. Like I had that experience the first time I ever had Hop Slam. Mm -hmm. Um, I, um, I, yeah, I, I, I was, beer I was still drunk fresh. Absolutely. Um, I was still kind of early on in my craft bearing, um, but I cracked the thing and I did the hiss and I was like, yeah, it's, oh my God. <laughs> yeah. I can yeah. smell this can from smell. the over there. Uh, yeah. It's like, I can, I can smell it just in my hand down here and coming Your wife came bottle. in, stop brewing beer yeah. in the house. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, well, you usually brew beer in it. Well, no, sometimes you, can. you brew beer outside. You can. Yeah. I've oh. never brewed beer in my house, ever. Well, you, you just have it lived. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't doing it right. I just don't want to clean the stove up afterwards. Yeah, seriously. Well, then you're doing it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, I mean, it's like... Yeah, like danky. Yeah, it, it's to me, it's it's one of those things. It's got that perfect hop complexity where you put your nose in it and you get something different every time. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, you get. I like super dank. I mean, the dank, the dank on this though that I like is balanced by the citrus, and so you don't get that yep. sticky dankiness, uh -huh. which I don't mind necessarily, but. I do prefer my IPAs to be very clean, very crisp. Well, the dankier, and I think that that dankiness gets really balanced out nicely by the citrus. So mm -hmm. you get the danky flavor without the like kind of effect on your mouth. That the, tackiness. The yeah. dankiness you get from those beers turns into like a heaviness, I think, on yeah. your on your it's palate. It's resiny, yeah. And you, you know, it's kind of tiring. It's hard to bust through a like, bottle or two. Uh, yeah. I gotta, I gotta finish this because it's really good, but it's like super intense and mm. kind of a pain in the ass to drink. And this is, like you said, it's got that dank. Super dry. Mm. I mean, I it's just for nine very, percent, it's, very, it's super dry, very yeah. drinkable. I mean, for lack of a better word, it's freaking awesome. So, if tomorrow is in fact the last day of your life and the end of the world as we know it, we want to know what your beer is going to be. So that's one of the we're going to tell you ours right now. Um, but we would like to hear from you as to what your like end of the world beer is. Like, what's the last bottle you're going to grab when you see the storm clouds are coming? Um, so like, holy shit, aliens! Buy a beer. Yeah. So like, tweet us uh, at Newbury Thursday. Um, include the hashtag EOTW beer. End of the world beer. End yep. of the world beer. EOTW beer. Um, otherwise, leave a message on YouTube or Vimeo or the blog. Um, My cell phone. Yeah. Text John. Numbers right here. No, a voicemail. I want a voicemail. I want to hear your sultry voice in my voicemail box. Um, okay. So John. It sounded dirty. <laughs> Sultry. Oh. Uh, end of the world beer, John. Go. Well, we were discussing this earlier, and uh, I mentioned that I might like <laughs> Bourbon County Rare. Bourbon County Rare. Yeah. From, uh, That's the Island. green one, right? The green bottle? Yeah. Yeah, green it's, label. Yeah, yeah. But uh, the more I think about it, now that um, I think about it more, um, Bourbon Barrel Age Speedway Stout was really, really good. I had my first bottle ever. Um, oh. During Thanksgiving, yeah. mm -hmm. and I was which which you drank most of yourself, from yeah. what I understand. Uh, Chris, <laughs> he was like, "Fuck y'all, this is my beer." Well, he was here, and you know, he had some, and I was like, "You want any more?" He's like, "No, I'm good. I'm like, good because I want some." <laughs> so, uh, that's not a beer you know you want to drink all to yourself. But if it's by the, the by, world, next Thanksgiving around you know eight thirty ish, being at John's house is the best place to be in the world because he is. I was that bad. I wasn't that bad this year. Well, all right. 
I would have left earlier, so I couldn't. I couldn't. Last year was awesome. Oh, you were even here. Well, yeah, but you're polishing off an entire bottle of bourbon barrel aged Speedway stuff, I'm assuming, at that point. Uh, That that is just in a real good mood. Uh, (laughs) All right, so Matt. uh, Okay, um, you know, I was actually thinking about this too, and um, you asked me the question, first thing I thought of Dry Fontaine and Goose. Right. Um, Just because they're. they're, they're, It's it's, it's funny because that's very, like, John's a very bourbon barrel aged kind of guy. You're a very. Goozy kind of guy. I do yeah. like gooses. I am, yeah. I am quite goozy, aren't I? No, but um, it's it's interesting to see like where you go with that. Like this yeah. is my final beer yeah. of my but, life. But see, here's the thing though: is I was thinking about this, and like the first thing I thought of was dry Fontaine and goose because for, for me, like that beer encompasses like so much of just what I love about beer in general. You know, mm-hmm. it's so yeah, it, it's so artistic the way that it's expressed. The the, the, the balance of it is absolutely perfect. Um, there there there. That every like I said, there's so much that I love about beer that's just encompassed in that bottle right there. Right. Um, but I was actually thinking about this, and like when it comes to beer that I just want to drink, like if I just want to have a beer, um, I'm a brewer, but so I'm not going to include any of my beers because that would be weird. Um, but if I was going to just want a beer, I go Union Jack. See, I was thinking Stone IPA, mm. not. Interesting. So you guys are you guys are going for the like I'm gonna drink a slew of beers and I'm this is the one I'm gonna grab. Well, no, it's like for me, it's like I, I it's you know, I, I I see the aliens coming, you know, bombing the Earth's surface. You know, oh, it's gonna I be wanna, aliens. Why do you gotta hate on aliens? I don't hate on aliens, but if it's the apocalypse, it's gonna be aliens. Um, so, but no, I just think of like I just want to have you know a, a, a you know a quick moment with an old friend. You know, All right. interesting. You know, um, interesting. It's, it's familiar. All right, so let's do that. Let's do the. So yours, yours is the barrel aged Speedway Stout, and the Stone Pale Ale for your like. No, 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 IPA. Stone IPA. Stone IPA for mm-hmm. the this the sessionable like whatever beer like you're just gonna grab and drink, and yours is the Dry sure. Fontaine and the Union Jack. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we're doing two beers now. So it's like it's your it's your whale like, beer and your honest, normal beer. I probably wouldn't be drinking beer. I'd be freaking the fuck. <laughs> Not me, you know what? Like I'm literally like, I, you know, because I've been preparing for the end of the world my entire life. Because that's uh, how yeah. I was raised. You've, you've been, you've been ready for it, right. Yeah. So I mean, I'm grabbing my captain's chair. I'm sitting out in the backyard. I'm lighting a cigar and I'm throwing yeah. my middle finger up to the universe, yeah. and be like, "Fuck you, take me, bitch." Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so Stephen. Okay, so now I haven't thought about like a daily beer that I would include in this. But well, okay, so someone asked my, the question. First thing you think of my my beer is you know given what I just said is the Avec La Bahou. Ah, so the what? Sorry, say that again? Yeah, I know, right? Avec Les Bon I go. can't pronounce it, but I love to drink it. Um, it's fantastic. Beer. It is a great beer to toast. I believe that's and celebrate. Uh, New Year's. Cheers. It yeah. is his New Year's. And beer. hopefully, if the world hasn't come to an end, it'll also be the beer that we're doing next week. <laughs> yeah. So, to bring in the new year with. Um, but no, that's, that is a beer that I think is a great way to celebrate. And I, to me, like, when I think about the end of the world or my final days or whatever, I don't want it to be depressing. I want it to be a celebration. Yeah, like, definitely. I love my life. I have no regrets. I'm celebrating. Bam. So. Well, and on that note, I'm getting I, kind I, of I, depressed. <laughs> <laughs> John's like, I'm not ready. I'm like yeah. I'm imagining this like fireball heading towards the earth. Like, what's that melancholia? You just imagine. You know, oh, you just imagine melancholy and the infinite sadness. No, 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 no Dude, melancholia. The, with, gen- uh, the Genesis effect. <laughs> just imagine the Genesis <laughs> it's effect. Just the Mel- fire coming yeah, over. No, melancholia, the with planet. That, who's that chick that I like? Kristen Dunst. Uh, Kristen yes, Dunst. Kristen yeah. Dunst. That was a great Kirsten movie. Dunst. Kirsten, Kirsten Dunst. Kirsten. 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 Something. Kristen. Christina. I call her Christina. Oh God. Semantics. Her best friends call her Chris, which is me. <laughs> if you call her Kristen Dunst, she would kick you in the nuts. <laughs> um, which is not a pleasant experience. Yeah. Kind of like Brendan Fraser. Anyway, yeah, we're getting Fraser. off topic. Um, I think for my day-to-day beer, though, I'd go with Shift. Good one. Yeah. Good no, one. That. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's, that, yeah. So our day-to-day beers are hoppy beers. Yeah. 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 And I think, that's, we're and from I, Southern California. I think, I think I would, like, wait to pop the Avec La Boue until I knew, like, this is it. Like, this is it. You wait to pop the wine. I'm not going to say the words again. <laughs> I cannot pronounce the beer. I love it, though. Um, no, I would wait till the last minute to post, to pop that thing and just start chugging it straight from the bottle. You reduced it down to, like, two words. I was like, <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, uh, like, Avec La Boo Boo. Yeah, no, I know. Avec Boo Boo. I've never been able to pronounce that beer. It's I have like, no idea why. I, I'm really bad at the French language. Uh, anyway. It's like Honey Boo Boo. Again. <laughs> um, no, honey boo boo. nothing, anything that I do is anything like that random hey, Bill, freak of a... Bill, yeah. when are you going to pop the honey boo boo? <laughs> oh my god. 
<laughs> All right. Anyway, That's so wrong. We're uh, stopping this right now. Um, one thing that I would like to point out is uh, you may have noticed that we are drinking this tasty beer from our third anniversary glasses. Mm-hmm. Stole my thunder mat, but whatever. Oh, did I did I jump in? Oh, I'm sorry. That's fine. I'm sorry. It's, no, it's good. I'm it was, glad you it brought was, it up. It was obvi. Yeah, and... these are our new glasses. They're awesome. And they're, this year they're, they're better I than ever them. because you can actually put a whole beer inside the glass. I hug them <laughs> and I love them and I call them George. Yes. Um, <laughs> George Glass. George, George um, Glass. Any of you who used to watch Bugs Bunny and the Abominable Snowman will get that joke. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. Okay. Anyway, okay. Um, speaking of which, our anniversary party is January we 19th. We live in a city called Tangent City. Yeah, exactly. Right. Uh, January 19th is our anniversary party. Please come out. If you come out early enough, you'll get one of these amazing glasses. Um, yes, we did take three for ourselves. Deal with it and fuck off. Um, You're going to have one. <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, so I would not get one if I waited. If you come early, you'll get a glass. If you don't come early, you'll watch other people's glasses and think, oh, I should have gotten here earlier. Yeah, they're kind of pricey, so we can't buy a lot of them. Right. Yeah. But we can buy what we and can. And we're giving them away, so that's another part of the priciness. Yeah. Um, so come get Although a free glass, celebrate our anniversary with us. Next year, that might change. Like, if you guys would be willing to pay five or six bucks for a glass, right? So next year, maybe we'll... You know, make more than make longer. make enough See, to charge yeah. for them. Yeah. See how it goes. Yeah. And it would just be to cover the cost of glass because it is pretty expensive right. to buy these things. Yeah, seriously. So. Anyway, and to make them look as good as they do because uh, we'll be at Beachwood Barbecue. My labor also um, comes in. The <laughs> wow, we'll be at Beachwood Barbecue <laughs> in Long Beach on January nineteenth. For the love of God, can I get that out? Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Where? Seriously. Beachwood Barbecue in Long Beach. And brewing. And brewing. Yes, yes. it's our brewery. Um, I'm not sure at this point, I, I, I've had a, a bunch of people ask me this, so I wanted to address on the show. We're not sure at this point if Alpha Supreme will be on tap because that was produced for our December 15th date, which was last yeah. week. Yeah. So, if it's, so not, if it's not still on tap, it won't be there, but it doesn't matter. Did you know they're um, selling bottles now? Yeah. That's bottle. pretty awesome. They bottled a uh, And their first one was Tavarish. Yeah. Yes. Oh, so good. I got to get some of that. So good. So, and we want to thank Beachwood Barbecue. And to anybody who's planning to come, please support Beachwood Barbecue while you're there because they're not charging us for being there. So don't come there thinking you're just going to drink a bunch of bottles from us. Buy beer, buy food, tip your waitresses mm. and waiters tip because that's not cool. Yes. Yeah. Don't don't just come and drink a bunch yeah, of beer. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, it's incredibly kind for them to be right. hosting this thing for us. And we really want to throw as much support their way as we can. Right. So buy, buy some food. It's a barbecue. Yeah, and, it's and I mean, if you drink a ton of beer so. and don't eat any food, you're going to have problems. Yeah, seriously. And It'll if you night. are going to drink a lot of beer, please get a hotel room. Yeah, yeah. or a cab or something. Yeah. DD. Yeah, stay safe, safe and drink beer. Yeah, you know? exactly. Speaking of which, we need to wrap this shit up. So, yeah. until the end of the world tomorrow, stay safe and drink beer. Yeah.